Do I make a horrible mistake, or do you think this is a good idea? I bet you're wondering why I became an owner-operator and quit such a great company job in a horrible freight market. Well, I guess what? I'm about to tell you exactly why I did so. You better watch this video, and I'm going to tell you it has something to do with that bulldog, and it has something to do with this hat. Mac is the beast on the streets, never weak Cruising with John, yeah, we find what we seek No Mac, same vibes, keep the hustle alive Rolling through the highways, man, we thrive Living life, making my semi-truck dreams Life's a journey, bursting at the seams Mac is the best, making moves through the night With John by my side, everything feels right New Mac, new grind, we ain't never gonna stop From a company job to the top, we dropped A huge factor of this is that I didn't burn any bridges For instance, the last company I worked for, I gave them notice um, The driver manager that I worked under I literally called me and told me that he would take me back as a drop of a hat so it's always important that you don't burn bridges as you go through your, your trucking career. Another great example of that is who I just signed on a contract with. Again, I don't share the company name or the people that I work with. Never have for security reasons. I'm not going to change anything like that now. I'm not going to tell anybody who I signed on with or anything like that. But I will tell you, I didn't burn bridges. So I worked with this guy before and it was a great experience. I'm the one that messed it up. And I learned a lot of things that I shouldn't do, that I should do. My failures actually weren't failures that put me under. They were actually experiences that made me wiser and better at trucking, the, on the business side especially. I learned a lot from the last time that I worked with this guy. And some of it's from failing, obviously, and some of it's from his wisdom and his experience in the, in the industry. Part of the reason why I jumped at the opportunity to go back work with him again is because he's I'm very teachable and he's willing to teach those two as a combination makes this a very very good scenario it works out really well for me and my family my situation and I think it works out well for the carrier also now the carrier itself the reason why it's so important that I went to a proven carrier that has a great track record that works with owner operators and is willing to put me as a truck driver in the forefront now don't get me wrong they're trying to make money also My, but money isn't the most important thing because his theory on life is not much different than mine he believes that if you treat your people right the money will come and he treats his people right so it was a good place for me to go he's a good person a great carrier runs a good business and like i said he's willing with the knowledge that he has that it can only make me better as an owner operator and as a business owner. Now, I should also mention that I'm not afraid of taking risks. There are a lot of people that are very risk adverse. And if you are, you probably should stay with a company. It is a much safer place to be where it's much more predictable. But as an owner operator, you are taking risk. I don't have fear of those risks because I'm a Christian and I believe that God walks with me. So I'm not super concerned about what could happen next. Yes, I could fail and you know fall down and skin the knee but what that means is i'm going to learn of things not to do and things to do and only become better and stronger in the future um i'm hoping that this time from my past failures that that won't happen but if it does it does either way i'm walking the direction god wants me to walk so therefore i do it without any fear at all as i open this new chapter in truck driving for me it's actually an old new chapter um, I've been an owner operator in the past, so it's not new to me as a person, but doing it the right way is a little bit new. And how's that going to change my content as you're watching my videos? Um, it's going to be more centered around owner operator, but I'll still have my trucker stories and all the other stuff that I do. Um, so make sure you go down and subscribe. Make sure that you ring that bell, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. Did I make a horrible mistake or do you think this is a good idea? Let me know. I honestly do want to know. Put it down in the comments. Always remember, truckers are people too. And we'll see you on the next video, everybody. Driving with John is coming through. With shorts and videos just for you. You need a good laugh, and so do I. Without humor and wit, the world would be dry. You like to share the things that you know. Replying to videos to help others grow. We're in it together.
together and share more than the road We all have a story that needs to be told If you send yours to me, I will gladly share It's real life though, so fewer beware Driving with John is coming through With shorts and videos just for you You need a good life, and so do I Without humor and with the world would be dry Pray for my butt. <laughs> the old man wants to butt back that. I mean, rebut that. Can we be friends? You've been my friend since day one, dipshit. Try meeting on more than YouTube now. I love TikTok and Facebook. We're growing. Holy.